Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday, 18 October 2024. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly Deputy Editor for Features Nadine James writes that digitalization is seen as the key to bolstering the fight against illicit gold trade. The integrity of the global gold supply chain has been the subject of intense scrutiny of late, following a damning report by Swiss non-governmental organization SwissAid earlier this year, which claims that illicit gold trade amounts to between $23 and $35 billion a year. The engineering news features focus on manufacturing, where carbon-intensive power will hinder local manufacturers. Water engineering and infrastructure, where fungal research could remedy the water crisis. And upstream oil and gas in Africa, where a firm is concerned about the petroleum resources bill. The Mining Weekly features focus on explosives and blasting, where standalone technical services improve value add. And materials bulk handling and logistics, where application specifics aim to drive new product development. This week's business leader is Rion Barnard, the CEO of Tabono. And as this week's cartoon shows, there's skepticism about the current close relationship between government and organized business. But there's also a broad-based acceptance that their collaborative efforts have been pretty effective. We hope you enjoy this week's edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly. Be sure to subscribe to the magazine that offers you in-depth news about developments in the real economy by emailing subscriptions at engineeringnews.co.za. Happy reading and see you next time. 